Hi, Christopher. I just want to um, finish up a few things from the leaf week and the fall week. Um, I know you like projects and I know you made your um, beautiful watercolor. I want to show you this again. I sent a picture to Miss Albertine's phone. In the winter, you just uh, painting the, the tree trunk and the roots and the branches because there's no leaves. But in the fall, you could have uh, all your pretty colors. I know you mush them all, but if you go over it after it's dry with just some dots, you can have the colors of the leaves. In the spring, I did a very light wash of green and I put some little red dots for the buds and the flowers that come out on the trees in the spring. And then in the summer, you have all the green leaves that are beautiful. So you can make dots with that. I know you were kind of mushing the paint, but I wanted to show you that. Here's another project you can do. You can take a paper towel roll and you can cut a shape like a cloud that's the top of a tree. Um, and I cut a little part on the side of the paper towel roll, just a little slit to put this tree in like this, oops, there we go. So you can do that. And then with your paints, maybe if you wanna get your finger messy, you could do that. And you could put apples in the tree, or you could uh, paint some different color leaves, or you could even cut out little circles and put them on your tree. So that's another project. I know you're really enjoying your projects now, so I have to think of some more projects. I want to do a little science experiment that we didn't have time to do. I have this big cup of water and I'm going to see which things sink or float. Okay, so I have an acorn here. Do you think the acorn is pretty heavy? Do you think this is going to sink or float? Well, I'm going to put it in and you'll see what happens. Oh, popped right to the top. It didn't even go down very far. I have um, one of these little um, seeds off of a maple tree. These are called maple uh, seeds, and it's very light. These are things that just blow around, so I think this is going to float. Yep, I'm right at the top. Well, you could try this with leaves and acorns and different things that you find. I want to see if something that's heavy will, will float or sink. I really want something to sink, so I'm picking out my brown crayons since all of these were brown, and I'll see what happens. Ooh, there it goes all the way to the bottom. There you go. So you can practice that um, with some of the things that you find in nature and see what might sink or what might float. Uh, one more thing we didn't get to do, um, and I think you still have some leaves. Remember we read the book about leaf man and you made a leaf man um, with a pencil on one leaf. I made a whole leaf man out of leaves, all the leaf shapes. So if you pick some leaves and flatten them in a, in a newspaper or a magazine and let them dry, then you can make a really cool leaf man also. I, I kind of like, he, he could be like a little leaf rabbit or something. He's got funny pointy ears. Um, but this is another project you can do. There were a lot of pages that we didn't get to do, so I hope you and Miss Albertine or maybe Granny or Mom and Dad, you can do those together. Um, this is going to be a book for next week, for uh, Tuesday, and it's um, ab about cockadoodle moo. It's about the farm animals. We might have read this in our class, but I think... From last year when you were only three and this year when you're four, I think you can start reading these words. And this might be a really good book for mom and dad to buy. It's by Bernard Most. I wonder if he's the most. This was published, let's see, this was published back in 1996. I don't know if it's still available, but you could order it from the library. Cockadoodle Moo. The sun began to rise. Time for the rooster to wake everybody on the farm. Rooster always says cockadoodle do. So let's see what he says. But when the rooster tried to make a loud cockadoodle do, only a whisper came out. You see how this is very tiny? Cockadoodle. 
and his family slept on. Z see the Z's? The Z's are for sleeping, like snoring. The Z, Z, cheep. Z, Z, cheep. Z, Z, clock. Z, Z, cheep. Z, Z, cheep. So the little chickens say cheep, and the mama chicken says cluck, but they're sleeping, so it has Z's in front of it. The rooster tried to wake the pigs. cock a doo doo, -doo. Oh, But the pigs slept on Z, Z, oink. Z, Z, oink. Let's count how many pigs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen pigs. Oh my goodness. And they're all going Z, Z, oink because they're sleeping. The rooster tried to wake the cows. Cock a doodle doo. Very small voice. But the cows slept on. Can you read what they're saying? Z, Z, moo. Z, Z, moo. Z, Z, moo. Z, Z, moo. The Z is supposed to be like snoring. The rooster tried to wake the ducks. Cock a doodle doo. But the ducks slept on. Z, Z, quack. Z, Z, quack. All the ducks are sleeping. Any more animals? Oh. Let's see. The rooster tried to wake the farmer. cock a doo doo Oh, the farmer slept on. ZZ snore. Oh, and the dog is saying ZZ woof. And the cat is saying ZZ meow. They're all sleeping. Somebody had to wake the farm. So the rooster tried the cow to wake the cow again. Peck, peck, peck. She's tickling the cow. The cow opened one eye, and she saw the rooster's problem. Very small, cock a doo doo The cow thought she could help. Maybe she could go cock a doodle doo But you know what she said? Oops, there she is. Mock a moodle moo. Is that silly? Everything starts with an M. Mock a moodle moo. Oh my goodness, the rooster wondered if he could teach the cow how to say cock a doodle doo so he's thinking about the words cock a doodle doo. So the rooster says cock a doodle doo. And what does the cow say? Let's see if you can read that. Sock a noodle moo. Oh, so silly. And the rooster tried again. Cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo. And this time the cow says rock a poodle moo. Oh, is that silly? Uh-oh, now he's going to say it four times. cock a doodle doo cock a doodle doo cock a doodle doo cock a doodle doo And this time, the cow said, clock a doodle moo No, that's not right. Well, this time, the rooster says it ten times. I'm not going to take that much time, but she's still he's still whispering. So this time, the cow said, cock a doodle Moo. Well, that's close enough. Close enough. So the cow went cock a doodle moo, and everybody woke up. Oh my goodness! The pigs woke up with a laugh, and they all said oink ha, oink ha, oink ha. Silly pigs. Really silly cow. And then the cow went cock a doodle moo. And the other cows woke up with a laugh. Moo ha, moo ha, moo ha. They're all laughing. And then the cow went, cock a doodle moo. You could read that, cock a doodle moo. And the ducks woke up with a laugh. Quack ha, quack ha, quack ha. And the cow went, you say it this time, cock a doodle moo. Big one, cock a doodle moo, nice and loud. And the farmer woke up with a laugh. Ha ha. Everyone loved waking up with a laugh. Woof ha, meow ha. So when the rooster finally got his voice back and he said, cock a doodle do, let's see what they did together. The cow laugh taught the rooster how to do cock a doodle moo, and they woke everyone on the farm together. Cock a doodle moo. The end.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you did some of your other projects. And I just want to show Mom um, the notebook. I, I just have a clear notebook, but you can get a bigger one. And I even have these um, inserts I showed Miss Albertine, the, so you don't have to hole punch everything. I got these plastic inserts, and you can keep all your a, all your alphabet words in one thing. Okay, guys. See you Tuesday.